running out of chalk and not being able to do your routine? That was really weird. Right. I'm sorry, because uh, uh, I think a three minutes uh, to change uh, a, a, a totally to go in a total different hole with total different lights and just make a touch for warm up and go up and make a routine it makes you running and it's dangerous in gymnastics to go to do a routine and running but uh, in my case uh, <laughs> I was the very very first athlete, actually second athlete with my teammate uh, and the rings had no chalk uh, the bucket had no chalk and this uh, took the time that we needed to prepare for a routine so no podium for me and but it, it's okay it didn't affect you clearly <laughs> no i mean I, I i just want to check the lights always uh rings more or less are always the same with just a swing you can understand what's going on so just for the light that's the problem thank you how does it feel defending the title was it more difficult than Glasgow? yes it was because when when you already first of all when you already have a title uh, you feel more weight in your shoulder, uh, but uh, and the, the the athletes was, were better. They were they were better than 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 Glasgow and then Tokyo also. Abliazin and the Chinese they were they were real strong. So it was I think a strong competition and uh, I would like also Samir on the podium because he did uh, an amazing routine, an amazing try all this year. Uh, after Rio and the injury, so it was he's the biggest fighter I have seen in gymnastics, I think. Do you hear before the competition from any of the former great Greek guys, like the Ioannis is here in town and uh, the tennis, do you keep in touch with them? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. My, uh, my Ioannis is a, uh, we have very, very many mutual friends, so uh, we are a lot of times in Athens in the same company, we know each other like many years, and He's, he was he were always an idol for gymnastics in Greece, also Tambakos, and uh, we try to follow their steps. And even even if if someone does more things, he still has the, the same idols. You know what I mean? Do you hear just before the meet with them, just like a text message or encouragement? Or yep, yep, that? yeah. He texted me uh, today uh, in the morning uh, for good luck and everything. Uh, he will be probably somewhere outside and waiting with the other Greek teammates. Thank you. You were, talk, you were talking about the pressure of being uh, the number one. Do you think you can handle this pressure to Tokyo? Uh, it looks like uh, the first year after Olympic Games went well. So I think I will do my best to handle that. Uh, it's not easy, of course. Uh, it's it, it, not on rings, but in in every sport to defend the titles and just keep going on like nothing is happening. So I will do my best to handle it. The first year went well, so European worlds. <laughs> I'm happy with it. You are nine on in Greece. Uh, I wonder if something has changed in your life after the Olympic gold medal. I mean, outside the gym. Uh, Except I got one or two, three more sponsors. The main thing, the biggest gift that I have, uh, I have received from from the medal uh, in Olympics, it's that the the whole the gymnastic uh, clubs uh, were they, they was full again of kids. Like every, everyone went, wanted to do rings, so that's the biggest gift when you. And that's the, the the reason, one of the reasons that I'm competing to to uh, boost the kids to the sports and especially in gymnastics uh, or anyway. So I think that's the biggest change in my life. That the people are is coming. They are saying uh, without expecting something. They are saying bravo, congratulations. We are proud of you and a lot of things. And the kids are going to the clubs and doing gymnastics. That's two big things I think. You don't need a lot of more, a lot of many many things more. You said there's a lot of pressure on your shoulders. You do it seven times in a row. <laughs> Tell us about that. <laughs> uh, I love I love what I do. Uh, when I have holidays, uh, after three or four days, I'm 
I want to do something, and especially rings. So mm -hmm. I like to work uh, a lot uh, on my sport uh, and on rings. And um, even if you have weight on the shoulder, if you work a lot and believe in that and love what you do, uh, everything gonna happen. Mm -hmm. Was this the most difficult one, would you say? I, th I, think, I think it was the, the most difficult competition uh, mm. of my life uh, because, as I said, uh, the, the athletes were really strong. But the, the biggest pressure was, of course, real. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, it's normal. Thank you. Okay? Thank you, Petronas. You're welcome. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you very much. <laughs>